inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I'm not? Okay. I'll go one more exercise because I want you to do on your own this exercise. Brother, ikra waktu ma dabtil awakhiril kalimati. Means, you know, put the proper vowel signs at the end. Huh? Okay. It's, it's not given. But you got to tell me very loudly. Masji dun mashallah. Mashallah. And al masji do. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Al ma u. Next one. Un, mashallah, mashallah. Al bay tu. No, oh, tu. Tu, sorry. Huh? Al bay tu. Got to be careful, brother. Huh? Uh, if you, if you, if you say al bay tun, I got a very weak heart. I'll get heart attack. <laughs> it has to be al bay tu. Okay. Huh? And then ba bun. Kala mun. Al kala mu, mashallah. Al kal. Bu, kal, bun, kami, sun, wala, dun, al haja, ru, al wala, du, hima, run, al hima, ru, al hisa, nu, hisa, nu. Mashallah. So you you are understanding definite and indefinite. Huh? Tanwin with al single. Are you with me? Now, brothers and sisters, you got to write all these things. Huh? This is ikra waktu. So, a lot of homework. Huh? I hope you will find time. I know you got a lot of responsibilities. You have children, husband, businesses. Do as much as you can, brother. Inshallah. Okay. Now, brother, we go back to page number one. We go to page number one. Okay. Number one. What is the first sentence, brother? Hada baitun. I want you to analyze it. Is it a jumla ismiya? Yes. Brother, that, is, that goes without saying because we haven't come across jumla failure. <laughs> and it will come later on. So all are jumla ismiya. What are you looking for? This is Salma? Mubtada and Khabar. We are only looking for these two things. Huh? Okay. So when you say Hada Baitun, where is Muftida? Hada is your Muftida. And remember it is definite. It is definite. Because when you say Hada, you are pointing out to something particular. So it is definite. In fact, let me tell you a rule. Are you listening? Are you listening? All pronouns. What did I say? All pronouns are definite. All pronouns are definite. Because the pronoun replaces noun. We will learn more about pronouns, inshallah, in two, three days. A lot we will learn. Okay? So, hadha is the pronoun, and pronouns are all definite. Huh? Okay? By their nature, they are all definite. Okay, fine. Hada baitun. So hada is definite. Because we know Muftada has to be definite most of the time. In the Quran, we will learn the sentences in which Muftada is indefinite. And you will be amazed. You will love it when we will go through some of the sentences in the Quran. And it will amaze you, brother. Now you will feel that thing in your heart, you know, inshallah. Okay, hada baitun. What is hada? I know this. <laughs> Muftada. What is Hadha? Muftada. Oh, where is the khabar? But I told you this is all halwa puri. Now do you believe me? It is all halwa puri. Okay, Hadha masjidun. What is Hadha? Muftada. Where is khabar? Masjidun. Okay? Fine. Hadha babun. Where is Muftada? Hadha. Babun. Khabar. So all these are simple sentences. They are nominal sentences, they are jumla, ismiya, and they are muftada and khabar. Huh? These are all simple. Huh? But be prepared to come across some hard check piece. Huh? And then we will be ready to analyze it, inshallah. Okay, fine. Now, from now onwards, you must understand one thing. 
we will try to analyze every sentence that will come in front of us. If the sentence is a question, what did I say, brothers and sisters? If the sentence is a question, we will not analyze it. We won't attempt to analyze it. Till we go in book three. Till we go in lesson number 10 in book three. We will not analyze it. Questions, just leave it 